Hello. How are you? Hi, did you call us for, not. for an employee of its recording? It's this gentleman right here that won't get a number or leave because he's loitering. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He just went over the whole right. thing. Regard, right. Regardless, right. regardless of that, the, the property managers have they started posting. Yeah, but it's public. public. This is the public. Yes, I agree. I'm and able to record in public. Here. Specifically when I'm doing business. So that's what, and I'm in public, and the law specifically states that I can't. So okay. I think it's different than what they're saying. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Right. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Just just hang tight, man. Thank you. So, what essentially what it is? It's, it's like a second amendment law, right? Yeah, I know. So I would call for advice. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. What's up, everyone? This is Craig with FAQ The Madness, and we are showing the rest of the incident that occurred at the Social Security Administration offices in Anderson, Indiana. Uh, if you watched part one of this series, then you will know that I had an incident or some interaction with the manager. Uh, and cops ended up coming. This video will show the interaction that occurred between Anderson Police Department and myself. Uh, and some interesting events occurred uh, thereafter, which is why I am submitting, or why I submitted a complaint. Hello. How are you? Hi, did you call us for, not. for an employee of its recording? It's this gentleman right here that won't get a number or leave because he's loitering. I'm not loitering. I did not call. I'm not loitering. You're just sitting okay. here and you're not doing First of all, there's, there's you're interrupting stuff. stuff. Couple Hold things. on. Pause, 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 pause. Right, pause, pause. You want to Listen, talk pause. pause. I'll sit there. <laughs> you didn't call? I did not call. I am the person that called. Manager. You call. called. I called, yes. You called us because you're trying to record. In there, correct. You see the sign? Yes, they they refer to that CFR which says that I can. The the CFR that they're referring to says that I can. With explicit permission from the tenant, and you do not have that permission. We've been over this a hundred yeah. times since nine o'clock this morning. So can you and I look at? Well, I, if you would like to talk to them, that's fine. But I I would like to also show them the law that they referred to that says that I can. He just showed it to you. I'm like, okay, oh, right. He just went over the whole right. thing. Regar regardless, right regardless of that, the, the, the property managers have a sign posted. Yeah, but it's public. That, this is the public. Yes, I agree. I'm and able to record in public, specifically here. when I'm doing business. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like, for example, when I have my mother here, I need to record the process so that we can make sure that we have the, the items in place. That are that are correct. Whatever we need to do, I need to record that. They said, for example, that that if I'm recording like this for audio, 
but if I hold it up, then I'm breaking the law. But that law says that I can record in public, here specifically. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Hey, we'll get the law on there. Sure, sure. No, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're being calm. You're being cool. Roger that. President, let me talk to you real quick. Yeah. And he has been all morning. Okay. And yeah. There's nothing out of line other than we're playing this game back and forth. Okay. Right. Yeah. I and, and then ultimately, what he said in the last conversation we had. I'm going to try to get a firm answer. Roger that. He's, when he said that, that if I don't get a ticket, which I haven't yet, because I don't need to, I really didn't need to speak with anyone today. But I will in the in the future. But my desire would be to record, yeah, okay. for those reasons. And I'm in public, and the law specifically states that I can't. So okay. I think it's different than what they're saying. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Right? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Just just hang tight. Thank you. So, what well, essentially what it is? It's like a second amendment, all right? Yeah, I know. So I would call for the right. So I'm gonna say, I believe it's a second amendment audit. The kid in the Social Security office. He wants to record while his mother is doing paperwork here. Yeah. They have it posted. Yeah. What's the legality here? What do we need to tell them? And they might say, go to me. But I would call the president real quick. Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. I would do that first. Because if we, we start telling them the rules and the laws and all that, and we're wrong, yeah. Yeah. so we just well, want to make sure we're standing on firm ground when we make a decision. Well, the Social Security office wouldn't be considered private property. Well, and that's, we have so. to figure that out. They'll be able to give us some advice. Anytime you have, like, a second amendment auditor or somebody like that that's wanting to record, and we're not sure if they can or can't, right. then what we have to do is contact the supervisor and find okay. out before, right. sure, before we give a statement of what's true or what's not true. Hey, talk yeah. to you. Is it social security private office? Private. Is it, yeah, is it public or not? You know. I feel like it probably would be public, but anything beyond a lot. Check out the big brain on Brad. And there's nothing wrong. Like right now, he's calm. There's no. I mean, there's no. You know what I mean? We don't have to stand here and mess with him. Right. You know, it's like, hey man, we'll get a verdict for you. We'll find out right now. You know, we don't necessarily have to make that decision unless you know for sure. And neither one of us do either. You know what I mean? So it's always, especially when you have somebody that's wanting to record and they want to know the laws, so, you know, they, they want us to recite IC codes. It's good to call supervisor and just let them know what's going on. Yeah. I like the poor runners just because they last forever. I can't find this part just for time to pay the ones there. That's another reason why I wanted to. Yeah. So we'll see what he gets, gets with. Officer Blackman, Matthew Blackman. Thank you. Unit number three. Uh, Craig, by the way. Good Thanks. to meet you, Craig. You, sir. Uh, Brad Miller, 421. Roger that. Thank you. So you said you're here. You're here with your mom. Is that I'm not here with her currently, but oh, okay. uh, I came to Anderson. I was born here. Yeah. yeah. But uh, she's she suffers from dementia, possibly. Oh wow. Uh, and we came previously to get me on her account. Mm -hmm. We're going to be going to the, the VA on uh, uh, the fourth. Okay. Just to get everything rolling, but and you know, traveling those kind of things, I need all of my information to be correct and accurate. Yeah. Uh, and so that day, when even when they first walked in, they said, you're not able to record, et cetera, et cetera. And at first I was like, you know, okay, fine. And I recorded serendipitously. You know, I did it without them knowing mm -hmm. because I wanted to do that. But yeah. today I came in because I know eventually it may be a problem if I'm doing that. Okay. But I'm not breaking the law. In fact, okay. if they, I mean, well, we're going to find out the legality of it. I mean, it's it's something that we don't deal with all that often. Roger that, for sure. But we obviously have in the past. Sure. It, it's better for us if we just figure it out for sure for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. You know, but you're right. I mean, if it's a public space, I don't see any issue with you recording. But sure. I don't know what their rights are as far as them posting it prior yeah. to you coming in. And sure. So we'll figure it all out. Well, I, I, thought, I thought it was interesting that they... It, the language obviously says, yeah. you know, that you need express permission and for news purposes, et cetera, fine. I'm, I'm making a documentary, whatever. 
but mm -hmm. I have the right to report it publicly. Okay. And in this building, even though they say they, they would prefer it, I understand you don't, you know, the onus is on them to protect everyone's information. I'm not trying to obtain someone's information. Yeah. I, I have a specific Yeah, I'm sure that's why they don't want to Of course, course and, that, that. and that's understandable. Yeah. But ultimately, even with the person that I spoke with that said, you will be, uh, you know, I said, well, what, could, what happens if I'm, if I'm doing this? You say I could do audio, but then I do this, what will happen? He says, well, the officer will, you know, that person will get involved and he'll ask you to leave. Yeah, I haven't right. been asked to leave yet. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go through the right well, route like for it. law to, you know, to say yeah, that you yeah, are yeah, abiding by the law. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, that's all I, we'll I get to the bottom of Roger that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's no trouble. Yeah, I'll find out what he's saying here and then we'll, yeah. we'll go from there, man. Sure. Yeah. I'm right fact, there. I've been here long enough where, I mean, my business may be complete today. I haven't even actually talked to anybody else. I'm going to make a FOIA request with those cameras that we, you know, ask for. Maybe you all, uh, you know, I'm sure you're recording right now. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, there are reasons why you can record and do it in a way that's not <laughs> harming anyone. Absolutely. I'm not trying to harm yeah. anybody, and I want to abide by the law. Yeah. But what they have up there is misleading specifically with the law at the on, in Section C that says you can record. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it, man. I'll, I'll get you an answer. Thank you. But. Recording. My assumption is that the reason that he's not allowed to record in here is because of sensitive information of people, things like that, of that nature, correct? Yes. Okay, so is that why the sign's in place? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to inform him of that. Now this is what he's referring to is this little line right here, and what he's doing is he's reading the part that says, on federal property may take photographs of space, 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 A, B, and C, but what he's failing to do that I just pointed out to him this is only with permission of the occupying agent concerned. On all the agency concerned. So the SSA has said no. And they actually told him that he could set his phone down on the desk when he got his number, he got called up to the desk, and he could do audio recording at the window. Not for conversations in the lobby or anywhere else, just at the window. Okay. And he's just back. I'm going to talk to Andrew. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to Andrew. Is there somebody, is somebody in charge that he can talk to, or? Yeah, he's the manager like three times every day. Today? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, um, I'm, I'm just going to go out and inform him of that, that the concerning agency of which the guideline that he's referring to, um, and me and my um, supervisor, uh, I, I just double-checked with him, and we agree. There's a sign clearly posted. There's tons of sensitive information. People are speaking about sensitive information. You can't can't have your camera for photography recorded right. that. So, um, yeah, I'll get that taken care of. And I didn't know that you called him. I told him, he asked me, well, what are you going to do? What you, what's going to happen if, uh, if I don't comply with this? I said, well, then my process is I will ask where you are in the building, hopefully peacefully, peacefully yeah. and then I will call my company, and they will decide to call you guys or call FPS. You know, mm -hmm. obviously you guys are a lot closer to get here than FPS yeah. is down in Indianapolis. Indianapolis, but For sure. So, so you're gonna call the police? Is that what you're telling me? You're gonna call the police? Oh, dude, you're not calling the police. You're being fine. You're just aggravating because of how you're looking at this. And he's already said that he came in here last week or prior and was told the same thing. Okay. Yeah. And then he's just sitting out here, and every it was a show this morning when I had a big old line. And everybody's like, well, he's videotaping me, videotaping this and that. He's, he's just so he's, he's just sitting right here recording? Well, he was outside recording, and he came, in, came inside and was recording and had it in my face and, okay. and everything going on. So, All right. I mean, he's had more than ample chances. And then I just, last time I went out there a few minutes ago, I told him, I said, listen, you this is the deal. You're given permission for audio at the window. Now I need you to get a ticket um, if you're going to come in. Uh, hang on, let me let me finish talking to him real quick. Okay. I'll be right out with you. Just trying to get to Roger. Yeah, you're good. I said, here's the deal. I said, you can't be just sitting here videotaping people coming and going because you're making everybody uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So either get a ticket, abide by what you were given permission to do, and come inside and wait, then you're here for business. Otherwise, you're loitering and I'm going to ask you to leave. Simple. And now when you guys just show up, that's the first time I heard his mom not fit him. So he doesn't need it for today. So he just wants to it's inside the social security office only he cannot Correct. record. Outside he's fine. Yes. Okay. I'll I'll let him know. And uh supervisor agrees that he can't be recording in here. So um we'll uh we'll uh, let him know that and we'll you know, 
So he seems really peaceful to talk to. So, yeah. Yeah, um, thank God. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll talk to him real quick, and we'll see what we can do. So okay. it's all good. All right. Hey, what's your name, man? My name's Craig. Craig. Okay. Oh, Craig. I'm Marcus. Okay. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. So here, here's the deal. Um, that that sign right there specifically prohibits you from recording inside the building. You can record on the outside of the building. That's not a problem. Recording inside the building is extremely difficult, though, right? This is a social security office. There's going to be a lot of people coming in and out, speaking and using and holding up and showing private information. So, Which is public, right? It's not public. That, their information is not public. Right. So, I mean, I may or may not. You cannot trespass my eyes or my ears. So if the same information you're right. saying doesn't change just because I'm recording. Right. So anything that's mentioned out of somebody's mouth. When anything that's mentioned out of somebody's mouth that you can hear and remember is one thing. Right. But a recording device to hold that information forever is extremely different. So, but but I'm able to I'm able to, be able, able to quote unquote audio record. They said that you yeah, that's they, what they're trying to designate, but the, that that CFR does not say that. Right. So they said that you can go in there if you want. He's even told you, and the manager has told you, yeah. right? If you want to come up, get a ticket. Go up to the window and set your phone down and audio record the business building. That's fine. What their concern is is that you're recording inside of a federal building, which is with, public. It is a. It has. There's public access, but there's still stipulations and rules. Right. There's, there's and areas that they're, the, they're prevented from recording. So I'm not recording in any restricted areas. Yeah. I'm able to freely be in that yeah, lobby. Inside the lobby, yeah. That's but, not but restricted. You also no, no, have no, no. To have Hold on. The, the, I would have a legitimate yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. So. So I'm, what, not, I'm not arguing with no, you. No, no, I understand. So here's the I thing. Just want to clear, so I, we, we've talked to our supervisors. Sure, okay? sure. So at this point, we're kind of talking over our heads as okay. far as what we're allowed to do. Okay. So right now, we've talked to supervisors. What they're telling us is you're not allowed to report in there. Doesn't mean that you can't go to the station and talk to the supervisors and try sure. to figure out why that is. Okay. But we gave them the information that we had right now. And based off of what, what their policies are and what we're told by our supervisors, that you can't report in there. Okay, wait, wait. But other than what they, what the ways that they told me that I can't. Yeah. So if you were audio recording and they've agreed to that, yeah. then I don't see any issue with that. Okay. Right. The only time we have an issue is if they have a problem with something, they call us. Sure. Right. Sure. Right. Um, but if you have any further questions about that, at this point, you'd have to almost speak with your supervisor. Sure. And just purely because they've already told us what we are and are not allowed to do. Right. Right. Right now, we're told to tell you that you can't record it. Right okay. And and I I think I on any other given day I may say. Well, let me speak with the supervisor. I can go yeah. down to the station and do that. That's yeah, you fine. Definitely can. Yeah. Uh, but, but basically, so I'm going to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. If I went inside yes. and I recorded, then, and, and they, and I refused to leave, and you all came involved, what, what law would you tell me that I would be arrested by? That, I wouldn't be sure. It, it would take a lot, a lot of time to figure out what, what we would be removing you for. To be totally honest. Trespassing from, from public is what you're saying. Well, I mean, so that, which really we doesn't sound. We would have to try to figure it out. It would take what a lot What law more, I broke? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Because it's not one we deal with every day. Understood. Right? A domestic battery every we deal with day. every day, all day long. And we know those statutes really well because we deal with them so much. Sure. This is a, a unique scenario. Right? right. And that's why we that's why we enlist the help of supervisors. The supervisor with the supervision sure. is because they're more familiar with it, right? Because right. they get called down with all of those. Okay. Right? That's why if you want a firm basis on any other questions going forward, right. other than what we're telling you right sure. now, it really would have to be directed. Control, control, okay, fair enough. So, so ultimately, what you're deferring to what is it your supervisor said, does he have a name and badge? So I'm not sure who you spoke with. I spoke to Sergeant Chambers. Okay. Sergeant Sergeant Chambers? You're just yeah. going to start search. I don't know. It's okay. a patch number by heart. Okay. So, but you, but in what you're, for all that you've said, mm -hmm. basically you felt that if I did go in and record, then he would ask me to leave. And then you, if I refuse to leave, then you'd say I'd be arrested. And you just don't know what that law would now, be. In most cases, you probably wouldn't be arrested. <laughs> by the time we get here, yeah. you're, you're more than willing to leave or sure. at least discuss with us what's going on. Yeah, because it's I, fair. I you see I'm being fair I about very it. very rarely <laughs> take somebody to jail. Roger like that. that. For sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I can clarify. I mean, it's, it's yeah. easily clarified. And, and if you speak with them and something changes, yeah. 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 and then we come back here and he gets sent out here, then I think that would, right. I think it would be great, for example, if we, if we found out what the law is saying and whether or not it can be done, then if they came here and said, look, we understand what your policy and why you're saying what it is, and maybe you yeah. could read just a little bit differently. Yeah. But ultimately, my desire to record for why I'm recording is there is no nefariousness going on. Yeah. You know. So ultimately, I understand what you're saying. I do appreciate the way that you all have been a professor, including him. He, he was a little upset with me. I get it. But 
I'm not trying to do anything illegal. Oh, yeah. And if I if I do proceed and I have my mother here and we're doing the things that we want to do, I will want to record some way. And it may not be video if I can't, yeah. but if I can, then I will. So so ultimately, we'll we'll figure that, out and I will talk to to, to Sergeant Chambers. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. And um, and my 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 only recommendation is just be in communication with them about what you can and can't do. Sure. I mean, obviously, they're going to know the federal guidelines of handling the sensitive information and what can and can't be reported more than we because it's their it's his job too. Sure. Right. Sure. It's the management's job to to protect the information of the people's lives that are in there. Yeah, yeah, right? for sure. And that's the only reason. Well, right? to me, that's why they have those windows that they have, right? Um, the, the secure area that yeah, they have. Yeah, you gotta understand. There's, there's always gray area in the law. Yeah, yeah. And so sometimes it takes us breaking out a book and reading through it to try to figure it out. Yeah. And you know, just in a unique scenario like this, we don't deal with it all the time. Yeah. That's why we always refer to somebody that's got a lot more experience than a guy that's been working the road, right? Yeah. You know, obviously if he's risen to the level of supervisor, he knows more about that and those kind of situations. So that's why I don't want to give you bad knowledge. No, sure. You know what I mean? Sure. So I'd rather Do you think he, he is normally reached best by phone or I would be going to the so, downtown? Yeah, or wherever could, it is. Could, I, I'm not I'm not, I'm from here but I, I haven't been here for a long yeah, time. Yeah, so you could go to ten forty Main Street okay. at the Anderson Police Department, mm -hmm. go up to the front desk there and ask for a supervisor. Okay. And if you're wanting to talk to that particular supervisor, because he's I dealing would, with this, yeah, case. Do you guys have a case number or not a case number, but a call we number? Get, yeah, we can get like an okay, you write your card yeah, or whatever. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'll get that for you. I mean, all of you guys are recording this yeah. all the time, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll review everything. Just so it's cool. I appreciate it. You guys be safe out there. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. We try, man. One zero six. Can I get the number, please? One zero six. Incident number one three four one three. One three four one three, kind of call ten o'clock. One zero six. I'm sure. Thank you. 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 But yeah. you said he talked to you, or well, one of you guys about it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna give you this too. It has my badge number, okay. and I'm the one who spoke to certain. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. And I'm the one who spoke to certain chambers. So I wrote his name on the back. If you want to go to the station, and talk to him. Okay. You guys safe? Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. you have have yourself a good day. Good luck to you, my friend. John, thank, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. You guys have a good one. Take care, man. So we'll we'll try to. I mean, if he goes up there and we find out. Yeah. He's yeah, justified yeah, in being, we'll notify you guys, but I'm sure that there, there's always case law or something that changes what he believes the law is, right? Because he may read that and it says all public spaces, right? But with the exception to this place. Right. So and we don't know. And I, I know this for a fact because it's an offsite issue. Like federal buildings, if they have no reporting, I mean, it, it's just an exemption. You can get, like, for yeah. example, you could not go into the okay. National Guard office next door because of you're walking on well, over, you can see your public property, a sidewalk, well, and start there. recording things inside, regardless of your rights. Yeah, I mean. So I, the federal the federal buildings themselves are always exceptions to the rules. So I, I don't know. But the, the, the area in which those parameters are separated, they vary. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah, usually Indiana puts laws in place to protect that kind of that kind of information. At least, and he may be justified in doing it in the lobby and not going further than the lobby. I don't know. Well, well yeah. he has written really poorly. Well, well yeah. he has written really poorly. Well, yeah, he has written really poorly. To be honest. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. And he's yeah. right. I'm right. You know, because it says you can in the foyer, in the entrance, in the lobby. Yeah. But then it says after that, which he's, that's where he's got his period. And mm -hmm. it says only with explicit permission from the tenant. Mm -hmm. Which is we're going to come back to this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which Contact caller like 2736 Road, 7364 Road, Crawford Chickens in the area. It's referring to for the recording that says that you can. And yeah, I'm sure, there, I'm sure there's exemptions in that. And that's probably one of them. But, <laughs> but, but, you know, you but, some, but sometimes we're. Well, I'm driving fast because. If we can get a, if we can get a ticket. So don't give me a ticket. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, ultimately, we got hey, was, we made, got him to take off at least temporarily. He's seen and tell everybody people were uncomfortable with it, and that's why I got upset first thing. And yeah. he's been fine the whole time other than that, so it's just yeah. a matter of 
hey, can you get a man? Hey, can you get a man? Hey, what about this? This and the same thing just to you guys, you know? Yeah. And look at 10 times I've heard of this. Officers Brethren, Blackman, and Miller all walk towards the side of the building and towards their uh, their vehicles. And they're met by a manager, I, I assume, who I do not know and didn't have any interaction with. First, I noticed that Brethren again appears to make the same motion, which to me is muting or unmuting his recording. And then he also... Uh, takes a picture of a piece of paper that that same gentleman gives to him now in general it probably wouldn't bother me or, or might not have even noticed that this occurred until i started looking at all the footage now i made a, a number of mistakes as far as uh first amendment auditing goes because i wasn't completely aware when my camera wasn't actually recording which is why i got i obtained all of the body cam footage. But the interaction with the two managers, including Greg Sinski, who is the manager who I had an interaction with um, in part one. Again, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. And tell me what you think. But to me, it was clear that he did not. He wasn't completely aware of the discrepancy between the CFR and the policy that the SSA has, which is the reason why I did a FOIA request on a number of things involving that policy and as it relates to filming. So it's been almost two months since I've gotten the response there. I have been back to Anderson, Indiana um, to visit my mother. Dementia sucks, um, but he wasn't there and um, I had to resubmit, uh, I guess, an appeal for the uh for the information i requested so there most likely be another video regarding you know this issue and what i will consider resolution but i do have a, a dog in this fight i do believe that there are areas within the social security administration offices which you are permitted to film in and it is not as they indicated something that you can't do so i will follow up I hope that you guys um, enjoyed what I've done. I will get better. In general, I believe that the officers treated me with respect. Uh, and I tried to treat them th with respect. And I jokingly chide with um, brother that, you know, he's muting his button multiple times. Or mu muting the recordings multiple times. Um, but ultimately, I believe that... And I looked at their policy. And it, it actually states that there are times when they can uh you know interrupt recording whether it be audio or, or or video but i just believe that more often than not should they not do so and more specifically if they are having a conversation that involves being called out then they should be recording and not muting the buttons um and a nine minute conversation that they have with individuals involved with this particular call is likely something that should be recorded and not muted so that's why i submitted a complaint to the anderson pd and when i get information regarding that then i will let you guys know which will be part of part three along with the information that's forthcoming from the ssa as far as the foia request goes i really do appreciate you getting to the end of this video please like and share and we'll see you on the next video. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit. A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.